Shalom. Let us say our praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makaq, Kodash, Dabba, Honor to the Apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect, of whom I hope to be. This is just a short lesson in regards to the wildfires in um, in Maui and the wildfires in Yellowknife, <clears throat> right? Um, the Northwest Territories, right? Because um, this is being done systematically, but this is Yahweh Shai, right? Um, he's the one that's causing this uh, destruction, all right? But, um, you know, and basically, uh, this is all prophecy, right? And uh, there's a scripture that says, what if uh, the fire be kindled, right? You know, because um, basically, um, we have to get that precept, but, you know, things is happening. A lot of things is happening. And uh, we got to stay in prayer, uh, stay encouraged because uh, miseries is coming upon the earth. It says, uh, weep and howl for, you know, like for your miseries, right? Because uh, the elite, like they plan on, um, you know, eliminate as much people, you know, with the whole BlackRock, you know, like that corporation, you know, they, they, they plan on... Um, you know, to basically like destroy our people, man. And this is what's happening. You know, th these people are systematically destroying our people. Don't want to sell your your beachfront property like to BlackRock, right? Everybody gets a direct energy weapon, right? Like this was a direct energy weapon, man. That that happened in Maui. Right? But currently, and there's a lot of Israelites in that region. Right, you have brothers who's there who who's who's prophesying on on the island of of Hawaii, you know. But uh, we we're very you know we pray you know we're glad that you know that all the brothers uh they escaped, you know, like that didn't happen in on that on on like where they reside, you know. Want to play this uh this for educational purposes. This is not monetized. Let's play this. Northwest Territories, especially Canadians. I know that there's a lot of news about Maui right now, but currently the Northwest Territories is burning and thousands of people are being displaced to who knows where. I'm currently in my First Nations community, which is surrounded by wildfires with the only road in or out continually being closed due to hotspots. Yesterday, my First Nation had an emergency response meeting due to these wildfires because it is encroaching dangerously close to Deta, one of our Yellowknife Stene communities. Five communities, I believe it might even be six now, have been officially evacuated and communications went down yesterday. So people literally can't even make phone calls. The RCMP can't even receive phone calls. So those left behind, those who weren't able to get rides because not everybody has a vehicle, not everybody has a license. Um, they are told to shelter in place at airports and um, are being airlifted out of the their communities. This is a picture that I took at literally four o'clock. And this is an hour later in the exact same spot. I have literally never seen this before in my life and seeing it firsthand is absolutely terrifying. Fort Smith was evacuated to Hay River who themselves was evacuated. Oh, this is a lot of destruction. And I'm gonna get that scripture, all right? Because Yahweh Shai, he's coming to bring fire on earth, right? I'm gonna get that. So we got to just hold on. Fine. On earth. Uh, uh, Luke 12, verse 24. I am come to send fire on earth. And what will I, if it, already be kindled so this is what's happening that's why there's a lot of wildfires all right they have the direct energy weapons and you have the angels that send in these fires right you have uh you have these thunderbirds you know that's uh, starting these fires too all right so there's a lot of fire being sent all right revelation 13 verse 13 and he's thus great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, right? With their direct energy weapons, man. And this is what's happening. 
right? This is what's happening right now, man. So there's a lot of destruction. Evacuated earlier this summer due to wildfires, they have the experience, the knowledge, they welcomed them with open arms. Then Hay River was hit with an evacuation notice. The fire traveling so fast, 50 kilometers in a single day, that Hay River had to turn around because new wildfire hotspots were literally raining embers down on vehicles. People have Yeah, that's what happened, man. Yeah, like this is yellow knife and um and they did the same thing in maui right they had a direct energy weapon that uh because that like that's not normal right they were supposed to be like um like a earthquake or tsunami warning but that was there, there was no warning right they show you that 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 was a that was either uh uh, uh angel send that those beams down or uh while well, or uh, they have the direct energy weapon because esau has that technology this is he, his blessing was the sword right that's esau's blessing is the sword all right genesis uh 27 his blessing was the sword Okay, this is uh, Esau's blessing because basically Jacob supplanted Esau up for his blessing, right? Because it was already set up because Esau already see, he, he, he already sold his birthright for uh, w um, for like for red pottage, right? That was even cooked, right? He was an impatient guy, so he he so he lost his birthright, and that's why he's mad. And Isaac. Genesis twenty seven verse thirty nine and Isaac was father his and Isaac his father answered and said unto him Behold, that dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the, the dew of heaven from above, and by the sword shalt thou live, and thou shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break the his yoke from off thy neck, and that's what's going to happen. Where the the yoke is being is being lifted off our neck gradually. You know until we're until we get the kingdom but that's why i said that by the sword right isn't that um isn't that esau's blessing the sword the, the his technology his weapons you know he, he has this his uh he goes back you know to cain or or on um, that two ball cane like, like the artificer of our uh, weapons you know like on um, that that was his uh his blessing by the sword Let's look at the word sword in the blue letter. Karab, knife, sword, knife, tool for cutting stone. And that's what he did. He's using his direct energy weapon, man. It's not normal. Had to head to the airport to just start getting airlifted out. Jean Marie River is also being evacuated. Parts of Enterprise literally burned to the ground last night. There are vehicles left on the side of the highway. And to put that into context for yeah, you, and, and, um, I remember Apostle the Apostles are right? Apostle Gabar, Apostle Tahar, Apostle uh, Ryan Lab, uh, uh, and Raka. They always were talking about uh, that that movie, like the Panama Canal, where the whole uh, where basically America invaded, like the Panama. And they use the direct energy weapons, right? And basically, like, those are direct energy weapons, what they're using right now, you know? This is Enterprise. The next closest city is Hay River. It is so extremely remote in the Northwest Territories that I can't even imagine where they would go. Please help us spread awareness about what is going on in the Northwest Territories right now. This is my home. This is Den and Day. This is the land my ancestors have walked on for thousands of years, and it is hurting. Yeah, and this was happening because um, Jake has to know that this is Esau, his blessing. His blessing was the fatness of the earth and by the sword. And he's, and he's using the sword, you know, by any means. Uh like the root word is corrupt to to be waste lay waste 
make desolate, be desolate, be in ruin. And that's what he's doing, you know, with his technology. He's destroying, you know, our people. More people need to be talking. This is what The plane passenger feels Maui while. Yeah, so this is the Maui. And I'm gonna, this is gonna be a short lesson. Fire and destruction. This is what. I, I can't even play this stuff because of their music. I don't want uh, YouTube to uh, like to give me a, a a copyright strike strike. <laughs> this is what's happening, man. Look at that man go! This is Maui. So uh, this is not normal technology that he's using. He, his blessing was the sword, right? This is his blessing. I can't even play that because I because I don't we don't want I don't want you to, to give me a copyright strike. Let's play. This. This is what's happening, man. You know, a lot of people had to run for their life. You look at this. You know, Esau has direct energy weapons from the satellites or drones, and uh, also as well, um, they show you that in the Simpsons too, right? The, 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 the Simpsons predicted this. You know, but uh, Yahweh Shai, the angels, you know, they're the ones that's stirring this fire up. Right, and Esau, his blessing was a sword. So, his blessing is a uh, uh, is. Uh, so this tweet has gone viral in the last twenty four hours, and it's causing quite a stir on social media. It shows a picture that they claim to be a laser beam striking the coast of the Hawaiian island of Maui. Conspiracy theorists are claiming that this was the cause of the devastating wildfire that occurred earlier this week, which destroyed huge portions of the island and killed at least one hundred people. We did some checking around and we found the real truth behind this conspiracy. It turns out, this picture was something completely different. This is actually a long exposure image of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch from Vandenberg Space Force Base in Southern California. Using Google Lens, we were able to find the original image. This image was used in an article by Eric Berger all the way back in 2018. To summarize, this is not a laser beam that started the wild- See, you saw using an AI. But, you know, a lot of people had to run for their life, you know, into into the ocean. Let's go. Let's play this. What made the fires in Hawaii so exceptionally bad? Yeah, I can't even play it because I don't want Drew time. I don't want Drew to, to uh, like to give me a copyright strike. Holy. Wash it? Yeah, just wash it. That's going to be crazy. See that? So th th this is not normal, but you know this is Yahweh Shai that's stirring this thing up, right? The fire is being kindled right now. We're out of the water now. No sir, no reef. <laughs> Yeah, so that's pretty much it, man. This is Esau's blessing, the sword, right? One second. Yeah, this is Esau's blessing, the sword. Right. So uh, that's why that's why I said the devil's coming down with great wrath, cause he know if that he have but a, a short time. So uh, that's why all kind of chaos is happening, right? Um, 
get uh, Psalm 17. Then I'm going to close, Lord's will. 17. Uh, start at uh, 9. Or start at 8. Psalm 17 and 8. Keep me as the as the apple of the of of the eye, hide me under the sh under the shadow of thy wings, and that's what we're gonna do, because there will be more wildfires, there will be more chaos, earthquakes, destruction, and the only thing that's gonna save us is our faith, knowing who we are, and know that we're gonna have to have to rely on on the heavenly Father Yahweh Shai and the Son, right? From the wicked that oppress me, from the from my deadly enemy who is who compassed me round about and we're, we're being compassed round about because they want to displace jake out of you know out of their homes out of their land and uh you know and they basically they, like they want uh, like let's say like you want to uh, like after the smoke is clear and you want to rebuild that there's going to be more fires so there's so it's like so they want to totally like displace you and um and they want to get rid of you because they basically call us useless eaters right when you go into their whole uh their whole tamiluk uh la or way of life you know that these uh zionists do right they uh encamp they enclose in their own fat when their mouth they speak proudly it's, that's why esau's a proud man right is that I'm proud like you know that song that um what's his name I always plays it that Donald J Trump right he always plays that his he always plays that in his meetings I'm proud to be an American then in it yeah like they're very proud all right but there's a lot of blood on this land man how they occupy uh, like how they got this land through blood like as a lion that is greedy for his prey and it where a young lion lurketh in, seek pla in secret places, and that's what they did. All right, they have the direct energy weapons because they basically want them because they want to take the land, and uh, they want to, you know, Esau. He 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 he, he, he takes our people land, and uh, you know he builds his own cities or towns, you know, and they leave Jake. In the dark, like the, the like the Native American uh, chiefs, they keep them, you know. Even though like they have a lot of land, they have like uh, they have like reservation. They have like all that reservations. It's like a, like they have on the, um, like they're living in the um, what do you call them? Them places there, um, like on their reserves. A lot of a lot, a lot of those those chiefs, they have uh the casinos, gas stations and stuff, but it's like they're bringing a lot of outsiders, so it's like it's a mess. All right, so the only thing that's gonna save us is our faith. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, to, um, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, from men which have their, which have, which are thy hand. O oh Lord, from the men of the world which have their portion in this life, right? The, the international banking family, they have their, their portion, man. They have all the resources and they're and they're using their, their, their sword, man. You know, he's doing it, you know, with the food, water, the air, you know, and he has his technology, right? That was his, his sword. Genesis uh, 4. And you go into like two ball cane, cause two ball cane. Let's get this. Genesis uh, fourteen verse twelve. When thou tillest the ground, shall it shall not henceforth yield unto the her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond. Shall that be so that that's why all the agriculture is being destroyed and they're doing all this splicing this gene splicing you know but um it's deaf right this man he just he, he just he just promotes death he's against he's a man that's against nature 
And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out out of the, the day, out of this day, from the face of the earth, and from the from the face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Right? And that's what they what like basically Esau, he's a um he's a smooth criminal. Right, and basically he wears suits and tie, and uh, acts like yeah, like he's like the nicest, pure white man, and he's you know which white just means uh, like like uh, you call yourself white means you're pure, but you're you're opposite, you're, you're red, right? Like Edom, you're red, you're not pure, you're you're not white, you're red, right? You you're like you're the crimson man, you're like you're the criminal. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slave Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said, A mark upon Cain, lest any finding him shall slay him. So the mark, he was basically, he lost his pigmentation. That's why he gets sunburned. He gets, he has to try to tan, you know, but the sun is, is even against him. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nut. And the east of Eden, which I done, right? Uh, the whole land was called I done. It means, uh, it means a uh, paradise. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch, and dwelt a city, and called the name of it, and after the name of his son Enoch. And Enoch was was born Arad, and Absalom begat. Masala and Masala begat Masala and Masala begat Lamech and Lamech took unto him two wives. So they saw Enoch and he had a son, had two wives. And the name of his one was Ada and the name of the other Zillah. And Ada bare Jabal. He, he was the father of such as dwelling, dwell in tents and of such as have cattle. And and uh, his brother named was Jabal, and he was uh, the father of such as had the harp and organ. So he, they're, they're a musician. These are the Edomites, the line of Edom, or Cain. That was their, you know, so they were into the music. Right. And Zala, uh, she also bare Tubal Cain, an instru uh, an instructor of every artificer in brass, iron, and the sister of Tubal came, yeah, and basically that was his weapon. He was the first smith, right? Uh, let's go with NLT Genesis four twenty two NLT. Lamech, and it's a Lamech's other wife, wife Zilla gave birth to a son named Tubal Cain. He became an ex expert in forging of a uh, bronze iron to had a sister yeah so he's the he was a, a forger you know and uh, basically uh that's why there was a lot of death because of the the, the because of uh the sons of Cain right that they, they promote a lot of death and basically that's why um, you know everything is how it is now, right? Because there's nothing new under the sun, right? There's nothing new under the sun, right? Um, th like that's why uh, Noah, you know, Noah he only saved his sons, right? Noah was warning uh, our people to turn to the Lord, right? But our people were, uh, our people were being stubborn and being rebellious, right? I'm gonna look at um. I'm gonna look at this one. Instructor of put instructor. An instructor. A sharper hammer. When a hammer to uh, this is sharp, a sword, a hammer, yeah. Yeah. Artificer. A metal craftsman, yeah. Uh, is Karash, Karash to cut, plow, no, and even um, 
I have to. I still have to watch uh, that other movie. Still have to watch that other movie. Um, I didn't watch it as of yet. The uh, Oppenheimer, right? Because Oppenheimer, they're pretty much they're two buck. They're basically um, like T men. All right, uh, the German scientists, Nazi scientists, that um, basically that caused. Um, you know the Hiroshima Nagasaki uh, like destruction that was all funded by uh, the Operation Paperclip you know and all that you know so we gotta just uh, stay in prayer man because things is happening drastically you know this is how the fire started so we gotta just in be indoor man you know, cause things is happening out here. You know? So with that, let's just operate the duty. How about Shimon Shay? Bashimakakodash Shavu.